So next up tonight, Joe Biden's depleting the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. But you know what? Depleting, depleting, energy prices aren't going down. They are nearly as high as they were at the very top. Here to talk about it is Rick Perry, former Energy Secretary and, of course, former Texas Governor. Rick, thank you very much for your time. I want to, we're going to put it up on the full screen. I don't know if you can see it where you are. I hope you can. It's a very interesting table that I got from uh, Sandra Smith, it was either yesterday or the day before, and Bill Hemmer. So, Rick, we've had three tranches of strategic petroleum reserve sales. 50,000, 30,000, and then 180,000. So that's 260, uh, I'm sorry, million, 50 million, 30 million, 180 million. That's 260 million barrels. So a couple things, Rick. Number one, we've just depleted about 40% of the strategic petroleum reserve, which is supposed to be for energy and national security, not for Joe Biden political price fixing. And number two, Gas prices have gone up every step of the way, and the price of oil, crude oil, I don't know, 78.50, 103.41, 128.00. So they may be off the peak, but they haven't come down. I would say that is a waste of money and Biden's folly. Incredibly in it. Uh, is all you can say about this. As a matter of fact, there have been some experts who have taken a look at this, uh, as have you, and have said that. Had the Biden administration not sent that uh, strategic petroleum reserve uh, crude out of the country uh, in most cases, and uh, and this last week the the knowledge that uh, it was sent to China is unbelievable. Uh, we're helping our arch enemy here at the same time uh, we're seeing American citizens pay some of the highest prices ever. I think we're down to the lowest uh, strategic reserve levels since 1986. Our refineries are at the lowest, or I should say, at their lowest capacity of, of, of crude on hand since 2004. I mean, we're, we're on the verge of a major calamity here, uh, and the Biden administration is sending one of our most valuable resources to other places in the world. I don't get it, Larry. This is, uh, this is an ineptitude uh, at a level that I didn't think that even the Biden administration was uh, able to attain. Just, just to pause on that, look, uh, President Trump, yourself, Dan Briette, uh, when we all left office, I believe there's something like 650 million uh, barrels in SPRO, which was a very healthy number, a very strong number. Uh, these guys are running it down uh, by 260 million. That, that's a big decline, as I say. It's about 40 percent. Now, Two things. It hasn't helped lower energy prices in any appreciable way. So that, you know, phony artificial uh, attempt at price fixing failed. Uh, as you point out, for some reason, some dunderheads uh, shipped this stuff overseas. I'd either, I don't know if it went to China directly. Maybe you know. Uh, certainly, though, once it got out into Europe, a lot of dealers started channeling it towards uh, China and India that are hungry for. Uh, oil and oil products. Then at the same time, I go back to what you said on this show several months ago. I've quoted you probably a thousand times. If instead the Bidens had loosened the regulations on natural gas and LNG exports, sold it to China and India, we would have done more to reduce global carbon emissions than anything the Bidens have done with all their subsidies and taxes and spro depletion and exports to China. Really? I mean, that's what you wanted, and you, you were right then, and you're still right now. Yeah, Larry, you mentioned something in your earlier segment about the EPA going after the Permian Basin in Texas with their ozone rules. And the, the, here's what people need to understand. The, the the Biden administration is just lying to them. I mean, I, I can't I can't find any other thing to base it on that this administration is just lying to the American people about fossil fuels, about it uh, being this terrible and bad thing. When the fact of the matter is, we're going to be using fossil fuels in the world for years to come. We may make a transition to a different type of fuel in some uh, time in, in the future, but. If we're going to do that, and that's a reality, and it is, 
then why wouldn't you use American fossil fuels, American uh, produced fuel, because we do it safer and cleaner than anybody in the world. So the, the, the idea that they're out there preaching that you've got to get rid of fossil fuels, there's this terrible thing that's going to happen to the world. Yes, sir, there is a terrible thing that's going to happen to the world, and it's going to be the death of literally billions of people in places who don't have access to uh, energy today because the Biden administration, the John Kerry's of the world, all this woke left is destroying an energy that has the ability to have people of the world being given some of the best quality of life that they've ever had. And these people are against it. I don't get it. Rick, uh, in the last moments here. So as a former Texas governor, as a former energy secretary, as somebody who's been around all the regulations and laws, um, I mean, this ozone restriction that would shut down the Permian, Permian is just utter sheer insanity. But the question yeah. I wanted to ask you, just your own judgment, um, do you think this EPA court decision will gradually stop and turn back uh, some of this Green New Deal insanity? I do, and I think it will also send a message to other agencies of government at the federal level that, hey, that's not your business. I'll give you a good example on the nuclear side. We need to be allowing a state like Texas to decide itself whether or not to permit to regulate a small modular reactor, for instance. I think that's the real future, using the Tenth Amendment that says, hey, you states, if it's not clearly uh, spoken to in the Constitution, it's up to you states to decide what you need to be doing or the people. This is a great example of it. And the EPA is completely out of control, as there are some other agencies of government out there. And my bet is there's going to be some states pushing back and pushing back hard, as they should. No, those are great points. Um, former Energy Secretary, former Governor of Texas, former Captain in the Air Force. Rick Perry. Yeah. Thank hey, you, sir. Kill the bill. Yes, sir. Save America. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks very much. Appreciate you coming up.